welcome to our transit van. This was a lockdown project that was meant to take a year and because of furlough um, took a lot less time. Um, so this is the main entrance through the side doors and this is our shower screen. I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, what we have is a, a worktop on the right hand side of the van going down and a fridge underneath um, with a cooker uh, with a three ring, ring hob and an oven underneath with a grill. We also have a fridge which is on working. Uh, in here we have a utility drawer which has got all our tins and also keeps our knives and forks. Above we have storage space and the first one is food storage and in the back four are our clothes storage and in this one is our cups and plates and bowls. At the back of the van we have a u-shaped seating and the bolster at the back is also holds our duvet. The leg comes up and then the unit underneath pulls forward and the two side cushions fit in between to create a bed. It's about 1.8 meter width um, and about 1.4 meters wide. On the left hand side of the van we have a full size sink uh, with a chopping board and a collapsible bowl inside and with a tap that pulls out. We have our electrical panel which controls our water pump our heating system and our bilge pump. So just to empty, we just flick a switch and it'll open a solenoid valve. Underneath the cupboard, at the bottom, we have a Truma 4E heating system. And at the top and on the sides is all storage. So there's quite a lot of storage in the van. Underneath these cushions here and on the other side, we can take those up and access the garage space which is round the back and this is the curtains and on this side so onto the shower so we have the stoic shower curtain and behind the shower we have a, a Fetford electrical flush toilet and a full-size shower and mixing shower and we can stand up quite happily in that. Uh, on the ceiling we have the maxi fan uh, extractor fan or blowing in fan whichever you prefer. Um, it runs off um, 240 amp power batteries at the back. Now they can be charged by the solar panel which is on the roof or the mains charger or as we're going along the alternator. Um, nice thing about that system is that if the, the main car battery or van battery isn't up to charge, the actual van will start from the leisure batteries at the back, which is quite intelligent. Um, lighting systems, we have under, under covered lighting all the way around. We also have touch lighting and dimmers on the ceiling, we can turn it off, yeah it went off, yeah. Um, and we've got three of those, externally for when we're parked up we have external lighting at the back and also on the side door. So that's our little project, it's gone very well, um, we're really pleased with it. Yet to spend a night in it yet, but we'll get there. Um, the main passenger seat is your swivel seat as well, so that turns around. 
and um, we hope to have a lot of fun in it. Thank you for watching.